One thing that's really apparent in the coaching consultant space, from a lot of discussions I've had with people over the last few weeks, but even over the last few years, is a lot of people are missing critical assets in their business. They don't actually have a way to generate leads. When I'm talking to people and they're asking me, you know, what, what can I do to be growing my list? I ask them like, well, what resources do you have that you can give people in exchange for a conversation or an email, depending on what they're growing? And a lot, oftentimes they don't have anything. There's no guide, there's no resource. And so what I wanna do is give you the tools to go and get something set up. Because if you have something that's just there in the background, just constantly churning in leads, then that's super valuable for your business. It always gives you new opportunities. And if you're just relying on leads who are in your world, people that have been following you for ages, then you're gonna struggle, right? You, it doesn't matter how many offers you put out, if you're not growing your audience with people who are relevant and value your expertise, then it's gonna be extremely hard to grow your business consistently. And so there's a few things you wanna do with a lead magnet. First of all, it needs to speak to a specific problem. So what problem in the marketplace are you solving? Rather than trying to like broadly talk about lots of different subjects, just focus on one problem. So for me, I have a few lead magnets and the two best performers, one is, is just about Instagram ads, so showing people how to use Instagram ads to uh, generate new followers. And the other one, which kind of leads on from that, is about what you actually message a new follower. So a new follower script. Those two do really, really well. They get me leads for around $3 US, which in the in the B2B coaching consulting space is good. Most of the time people are happy paying 10, 15, even $20 a lead. Those crush it. And the reason they work really well is because I've done my market research and I know what people are struggling with. I know what people are saying to me. And so I created those resources based on a mi mixing my knowledge with their problem, right? I'm not just creating something that I don't know anything about. I'm also not just creating something that I'm passionate about that doesn't solve a problem for my audience. It's really about matching those two things. When you do that correctly, you create an asset that people want and you can just run all the time. If you're running ads, then you just have this running in the background. And you're just generating leads 24 seven. Depending on your budget, maybe that's two leads a day if you're just spending like $5. Maybe that's 10 leads, 20 leads, 30 leads. It doesn't matter, it's dependent on your budget, but it means you just have something that's working all the time. And it's not just paid ads. You can promote this organically as well. Instagram specifically, you can use stories and say, hey, got this new thing, do you want it? People message you, starts a conversation, you can get people that way. Same thing if you're on Facebook or LinkedIn or any of these platforms, you can constantly promote both organically and with paid ads to get people through, which means you always have leads coming in and that, it's just from that one critical piece, right? That lead magnet. Now a lead magnet can be a guide. It can be in a written format if you want to write and you're good at writing. For me, I'm, I'm a copywriter by trade, so I, I do a lot of writing. But the other thing you can do is also a video. It can be a, a training, a resource, just something that's useful. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one thing. I think sometimes people hear lead magnet and they think of a, a written guide, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be if that's your strength. But if you're not very good at writing and you prefer speaking and you prefer presenting, then do a video, that's totally fine as well. I, I use both in my marketing collateral, but really you wanna lean into your strengths initially and that's gonna really help you. And if you found this useful, hit, hit subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more regular content on this channel. Uh, and if you have any questions around lead magnets, fire below and I'll get back to you. I'll see you on the next one.